G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Mags TV and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And this time, no, we're not doing it on Twitch. We are doing this one in my normal fashion. So we have a new mission to complete in the sequence. We have an enemy convoy, mostly consisting of transport ships to sink. However, it is defended by a heavy cruiser and we have to use destroyers to take it out. So we have enough of a budget to build four but we're definitely not going to get that i'm aiming at two destroyers in total now after the last battle of the twitch stream i've kind of got a thing for torpedoes so these are going to be torpedo destroyers big time so first things first well we've got to place main towers first otherwise it's going to crack about that and we've only got one option for each actually let's Yeah, that looks nicer. I like that. Make the forward tower a little bit lower overall. Cool. All right, so that's the towers in place, and they have to be there. Funnels. We have an enhanced funnel and a standard funnel. I'm going to place torpedo launchers first. I want to see exactly how far we can go. On. We have no underwater torps for this particular build. Uh, single, twin, triple, and quad deck tubes. All right. So let's... Two there. And let's do exactly the same thing again here. 16 torpedo tubes. I'm liking this already. I am very much liking this already. Okay, so now we're going to probably need some... Actually, we probably make sure we got a funnel we can fit in there. We get a, yeah, we can get a standard funnel in. Okay, that's fine. We'll uh, put that one a little forward. What's our current offset? Half weight offset is 0.8%, so we're okay. Ship is overweight. We'll adjust for that later. i um, been playing around with a couple of builds. So essentially, I put everything that I want on the hull first, and then we will change the settings in order to work for the hull. So two, three, four, and five inch guns. We're going to go five inches up the front, of course. Now let's place a five inch at the rear as well. And that's about all I'm going to put on it for guns, I think. Looking at this. I mean, we've got one position up there. We can potentially put... No. No, no, let's just keep with the two five inches. Yeah, we'll just keep with the two five inches for this build, I think, because I have an idea for these. Now, I don't want to play with the displacement, but I do want to try and get this up to 32 knots if I can. Range, we're going to drop to very short, as people were telling me to on the stream. Um, the range is for when you're playing in campaign mode. It's how far the ships can actually travel before they need to be resupplied. Obviously, in the campaign, you want to build the ships around not needing constant and unending logistics in order to actually be able to move. So you want that to be on the higher side. But because these are just essentially build a ship for one specific battle, um, yeah, we can have that on very short. It's a little bit cheaty, but, you know, it gets its past. Bulkheads. I do actually want to keep some bulkheads on this. I could strip them out to save weight, but um, heavy cruiser, I'm going to take hits. So, all right. We're at 39% of unit cost. We can't exceed 50% on the dot, otherwise we can only build one. We're at 138%. Um, 30% acceleration plus 50% chance, 26 horsepower per tonne. That'll blow us straight over. Well, it's not available anyway. Okay, geared gas turbines, 500%. Uh, see, I would love it, but we can't have it. We can't have it. No, even that's too high. Yeah. All right, well, we'll go with the steam and see what else we can do here to drop weight. We might be able to get that. Uh, semi oil, maybe fifty percent to flight ability, negative two percent plus hundred percent ammunition. Yeah, that's not going to save us any there. I don't think. Plus seventy five percent funnel capacity. We're only running on a single funnel. All right, so I don't think we need to worry. No, that should be fine. An auxiliary engine, however, would be nice. Ten percent. 
plus 25. Now that jumps us up a little, but we can save a little bit of weight here. We have access to all of the weights. Cost is going to be a problem though. 90%, 100%, negative 40, negative 35, negative 30. Let's go for crop two. All right, so crop two, we're nearly maximum weight for the hull, but our cost has dropped back. We're down to 41, so we can play around here. Single, let's... Damn it, can't double hull. But... Weight still goes up too much. Still too much. We need another shaft here. Max speed penalty from engine damage, negative 10%, acceleration plus 5, plus 10% turning rate, plus 5% ship repairs. I really want to go for a 3 shaft, and ship is going to be overweight slightly. Damn it. Um, Alright, so we'll address that in just a second. 15 inch torps. God no. 18 inch torps. Now we're talking. Uh, standard, fast, electric, fast. Negative 50% torpedo range. Now we'll, go for, we, now we'll just stay with standard. Standard torps, standard reloading, standard ammo type. Plus 25 to launch's weight. Plus 25 to launch's cost. Plus 25. We still only get one here, so we're going to, have to bring that back down. Okay, so this is what I wanted here. Lidite rounds. Now, these are nasty. Shell cost goes up, ammo detonation chance goes up, and chance of fire goes up. So I put some risks on us, but 100% chance of HE fire shell. Or 100% um, chance that the uh, the main guns, those five inches firing HE, are actually going to set, uh, set ships on fire. So we're going to have to drop some cost here a little bit more. We've still only got standard bunk ends, and we've got no real anti-flood. And we've got to save some weight. See, even that doesn't do it. Um, I wonder how crazy now we were both on both, so it doesn't. So that still doesn't yet. It really doesn't make much of a difference. All I can do to solve the weight. Although, we're still slightly over at 31 knots. There it is. Okay, so we have the upgraded engine. 31 knots maximum speed, 1,730 tons, oh, 1,730 tons displacement. We can have two destroyers, aft offset by 1.7%, which is perfectly fine. Uh, we're running an upgraded steam engine, we're running an auxiliary engine, we have the shaft 3, so we have increased acceleration and turn rates, which we want in Destroyer, and we have 16 18-inch torpedoes on board. I would like the extra ammo. Can we get it? No, we can't. Damn it. Alright. And we're carrying uh, Lenite explosives, so... We can't really afford to get hit, which is kind of why I wanted to have the bulkhead still on board. But, um, yeah, because it, it, we, we could just detonate on impact because of this. But every shell guaranteed to start a fire on the enemy deck. Or, uh, yeah, pretty much. If you hit something that's that can burn, it will burn. Yeah, that's something that I, uh, I think we're going to need. So anyways, that is our new class of destroyer built. Um, let's see whether or not we can not. All right, so we are playing as the Italian Empire versus the Austro-Hungarian Empire. One cruiser, looks like five stacks. It seems to be representative of our build, so I'd have to assume that theirs would be the same. So five stacks, and we've got five transports we have to take out. 
Now, knowing this, transports will be armed. Um, probably three or four inch guns. Most likely four inch guns. Um, yes, target smoke is to the north. So that is fine. Now we are moving at 31 knots max speed. The game does play in real time as you would expect it to. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to use some uh, time acceleration in here, of course. And I'm going to detach. Uh, no, you keep going north. I'm going to detach our second destroyer and have them run separately from the word go. These aren't dread normally with a dreadnought or you know, a battleship. I'd keep them grouped up, but I want the destroyers to be a little bit free so they can sort of harass. Um, the last thing to do, since we took it, that rather risky, the rather risky HE shell ammunition, switch both guns permanently to HE, and set the torpedoes to safe for the moment. So, what these are, these are your basic controls for the ship. So obviously, ammunition type, auto, the guns will change automatically. HE, AP, in this case, we've got 100% chance to fire on the HE, so we want that. Guns fire mode, we can turn the guns off. Uh, save gun ammo, fires the guns only at targets that can be hit with a high probability. Not too worried about that yet, we've got uh, 100, uh, 500 rather, 5 inch shells on board. Uh, normal, conserve gun, uh, gun fire in a balanced manner, or aggressive, which will fire all guns, all the time, anytime there's a target that's within range to fire them at. Um, not too worried about the guns, but I do want to save the torpedoes, because we only have 64, and we have 16 torpedo tubes. We'll be salvoing 8 torpedoes aside as we're going through, so... Yeah. I, I, um, I would like to conserve... I don't want any risky long-range shots to begin with. Conserve torpedoes until we're close enough to guarantee the hits, and then give it to them at close range and break out. Alright, so, we'll do a little bit of time acceleration. We've got five times speed. Part of me is actually thinking that we should have, um... Maybe we should have sacrificed one of the launchers or two of the launchers. And, um... Picked up some extra speed. I'm, I'm just concerned. 31 knots is not as fast as I would like. And we have a target. And that looks like four stacks on the breakdown. So that is likely the heavy cruiser. This will be one of the transports. Yet yeah, that is definitely a transport. Let's break down to three times. Let's take a look at this warship. So a single to the rear, a single to the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight casemates. I'd have to assume they're at least five inches, and that'd have to be that'd have to be an eleven-inch main gun. All right, so yeah, no, nasty, nasty piece of kit. Alright, so one, two, three, four. Let's go for Salamander is going to be your target. And we'll get you to pop up the rear and go. Well, you've already got them targeted, which is nice. Alright, torpedo salvo off. Drop back down to two speed. It's running a little bit too fast at the moment. And we're going to do a turn away. And then change direction again. Right, and... Oh, there we go. Oh, Salamander went down in a single volley. Nice. Wish I'd zoomed in on that. Now, I don't know. Let's get some shots in on her. Drop back down to full, so 25 knots, and we're going to go across. Smoke screen. Cruisers turning away. Alright, so I want to deal with these three transports before we go after the rest of the fleet.
Alright, Broadside is away off our second destroyer. Don't ask me to say these destroyer names. I... yeah. Not a chance in hell of me not butchering the pronunciations here. Yeah, I don't like your chances of remaining buoyant. I think we've got a pretty good, uh, pretty good cell. And another salvo is running through. One, two, and three hits. Okay, so we're going to do a turn. You're sinking, so that's fine. Right, rotate back and sinking. Okay, so we've got our first three destroyers, uh, uh, three cr uh, transports already. Two transports remaining, and now we've got to deal with that cruiser. And we've got a bit of luck to have the smoke going here. Um, we'll drop you back down to half, although we've sort of got to keep the. Ouch, 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 ouch. Alright, down to half, down to half. We should be well inside of our own smoke at this point. So this is what I'm talking about, the entire arse is on fire right now. Damage repair crews are no doubt doing their thing. But, um... That was costly. We could lose the ship over that. Although, flooding only appears to be in the rear compartment, but the fire is spreading up the decks. Go to maximum speed that you can make. Your new friend, you're going after that cruiser. We need to stop it. We've got to stop that cruiser right now. Normal. And set you to normal as well. If you can get a crack at them. He's going to get boxed in by his ships there if I can make the turn quickly enough. Maybe. Alright. Salvo away. Looks like just the rear launcher. Four tubes. Alright. Fire's done. Flotation is coming back up, although we've taken a hit to the bow. Yeah, those torps aren't going to hit anything there. That cruise is a problem. Destroyed main gun. Alright, so it's the rear gun. Yeah, that cruise is going to be a problem. That cruise is fu For the size of it and the guns that it's got on it. Oh, shit. That's what I was worried about. Yeah, that thing's that thing is ridiculously fast. What's that doing? Can I see what speed that's actually doing at the moment? Top speed. Yeah, it's nearly 30 knots. Oh, uh, that was a torpedo hit to its ass. So hopefully that'll um, sort it out a little. Yeah, we've lost the engine. We've lost the engine. It's over. Maximum speed. In reality, is nothing. We've got no functioning engine. Uh, maybe we can use what speed we've got left to try and get it a sort of kind of... Oh, hang on. Engine's coming back up again. Torpedo Salvo away. I don't know if he'll hit the cruiser or not, but we might be able to recover this one. <sighs> yeah, the um, yeah, the HE stuff is it's good. It works. It's risky, and that's not going to hit the ship that I want it to, unfortunately. Now the 
alligators now knackered. Yeah, I'm not so sure exactly what we can do here. Although we might be able to recover this. We might be able to recover this. It'll depend on whether or not the alligator sinks. I'm pretty sure the mission objectives for this one were to sink. TR alligator has sunk due to heavy flooding. Alright, so if we can get a torpedo salvo into that last transport, we might still win. I'm pretty sure the mission objectives for this were to sink the transports, but it didn't necessarily say you had to sink the cruiser. I just would really like to because he's pissed me off. I'm barely moving here. Come on, give me just one more torpedo salvo. Just one more. Put, <sighs> destroyed torpedo. That's not what I wanted. not really mo there we go we got a salvo out salvo oh that is a oh I reckon she's rooted I yeah I think that's it and she's sinking now does mission complete yes <laughs> screw you cruiser I win anyway uh, that was a lot of fun, although I, I think I really, really messed up there. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind trying that one again and see whether or not I could not lose a destroyer. I th might be a bit risky to have that um, the 100% fire chance on the HE on board. That's I think that's what caused me the detonation there. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. As always, check the video description down below for links to all my social media, my Twitch, my Discord, my Patreon, and my Subscribestar if you'd like to help support the channel directly. And of course, my Magsware store, where you can check out some of the merch. Most of it is not branded as YouTuber merch. It is just designs based around military and aviation history. Um, I do have a Halloween design that just went up based on the PO2 and the Night Witches. I will have another one, although it's. I'm hoping I'll have it complete. It's actually a two-part image um, that should hopefully be complete before Halloween, but I need to uh, need to get my time on on that one to get that one finished. Um, and I do have something World War II coming up soon as well. So check out all of that, and until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and as always, take care.